Now uh, we have startup time. It's Christoph Ostermann of Sonnenbatterie. Welcome to EcoSummit. Thank you. Thanks, uh, Jan, for the introduction. Thank you. Um, I would like to introduce our company to you, um, Sun Battery. Um, we are um, a, a manufacturer of intelligent um, lithium-ion based uh, storage systems. Um, uh, the name of our product is, by the way, as well, Sun and Battery. Um, we are based in uh, the south of Bavaria, in Wilpold Street, in, in uh, Allgäu. And we um, have been developing our product technology since 2008 had the first prototype ready in 2009, made a field test in 2010, and this was also the moment when we um, founded our GmbH company. Um, we are two founders, myself and um, my partner Thorsten. And in the meantime, um, we uh, launched our um, first product generation into the marketplace in the beginning of 2011, which was quite early for storage systems because Actually, there was not really a market existing, not even in Germany. No, nobody wanted to buy <laughs> such a system, and there were no suppliers apart from us. In the meantime, we sold uh, more than 300, uh, 3,000, excuse me, more than 3,000 um, of uh, those uh, systems. We have roughly 90 employees right now, um, 85 of them based in our headquarters. And um, last uh, year's revenue was roughly 7.5 million since the year of the market entrance. We at least doubled our revenues um, every year, and this is, of course, what we will do this year as well. Um, and um, maybe a few words to our financing structure. Um, even though we love investors very much, especially ours, we tried to get as long as, uh, we tried to get along as long as we could without um, uh, money from investors or banks, so our first financial round was um, in January 2013, and now we are in the middle of our second financial round. Um, our sales structure, uh, actually our home market is uh, still um, Germany, Austria, Switzerland. We are already present in other European markets like Italy, like Luxembourg, like, um, for example, um, Slovakia. Um, but, uh, of course, we are still in the middle of our rollout within Europe, and we are shortly before the market launch in the United States. We have actually two sales channels in uh, all our, our countries. The first channel is our so-called Sun and Battery Centers. Um, Sun and Battery Centers are um, professionals uh, in a solar installation, mainly solar installations. Some of them are also heating inst installers. And we have an exclusive agreement with them, so they are not only doing sales, but also installation, after sales service, and so on. And they are appearing in the marketplace as Sun and Battery Center. We have today something like, I would guess, 60 of them in, um, in Europe, um, another 10 already contracted in the US. And our um, second sales channel are um, uh, one could say white label companies or white label partners, for example, RWE, they are buying our system, putting their label on it. They call it then RWE, storage compact, something like this, and resell it to the marketplace. And we have another utility, ENBW from Germany. We have SolarWorld, SolarWatt, QSERA, and um, since a couple of months also Weiland, which is a leading company in heating technology in Germany. And our product, is, of course, a smart technology, and, of course, a big part of the product is uh, software. Um, actually, it's a, a storage system especially made for the residential segment, but also for small um, commercial customers. Um, it is an AC-coupled system. Of course, we have power electronics inside. We have battery cells inside. As I already said, lithium-iron, um, to be precise, lithium-iron phosphate is the cell technology we are using. and. Um, well, why it's a smart system. It's a smart system because um, a storage system is not only storing um, electric power, it is, of course, also managing um, energy within uh, the house, um, meaning that we can do a lot of nice things. Of course, we can remote control and um, supervise our installations uh, with an internet platform, with an app on a smartphone, on a tablet PC. And a very important requirement today for storage systems is that storage systems are grid-friendly, meaning that 
they should be able to do intelligent peak shaving in order to discharge the low voltage grids uh, where needed. And in Germany, we have the situation that um, an owner of a PV installation is not allowed to feed more power in the grid than 70% of the maximum performance of his uh, um, solar installation. And if uh, the owner is uh, benefiting from uh, the famous uh, subsidy program for storage systems, it's only 60%. And so the challenge is to know upfront if um, uh, the owner of this PV installation will reach this 60 or 70 percent. And this we are doing with the weather forecast system based on the postcodes. And um, based on this weather forecast data, we are computing a production forecast. And if we know that such a peak is coming and how big this peak is, we can reserve the needed capacity um, in the storage system and store um, the electricity instead of just um, putting off the, the solar inverter, for example. Of course, we have also demand side management, meaning that we can switch on and off electric appliances in the house according to um, the available solar power. Um, and uh, we are in the middle of a rollout of a virtual power plant together with Lichtblick, who is a, a German utility. Um, <coughs> And, um, well, of course, uh, this is why uh, software is a big, a big uh, part in, in our product. It's not um, only hardware. Um, we have just launched our fourth product generation for the residential um, segment at the InterSolar Show in Munich in uh, the month of June. And this was a very important step for us because um, already today we heard before that um, uh, economies and the return on investment is a very important issue for green technologies, especially um, when uh, they want to be sold in the mass market. So we worked hard not only on our product technology, but also on our cost structure um, in the last three and a half years of market experience. And uh, we could um, reduce our production costs sharply and uh, could position our new product generation 50% below our old product generation. So we, we, um, we succeeded in leaving this premium niche of customers not looking for economies and could enter really the mass market with it, which we can see very clearly in our, in our order books, which is a very good news for us. Um, our first product generation is the so-called Sonnen Battery Echo. And um, we are currently offering three sizes, meaning three um, storage capacities, four and a half, nine, and thirteen and a half kilowatt hours. Um, the system is uh, regarding the design modular, so even if a customer decides to start with the 4.5 kilowatt hour device, he can retrofit afterwards with a new, um, with an additional storage package and enlarge um, the capacity up to nine or thirteen and a half. Um, this is um, a very important step for us, of course, because. Um, uh, yeah, we have we are almost sold out for the next couple of months, um, so we are very happy that we um, uh, could do this this move here. You see some pictures of the system. Um, the basic device of 4.5 uh, kilowatt hours went also a lot smaller, so it is it can be um, installed wall hanging today. So the small thing you see underneath the stairs is uh, 4.5 kilowatt hours. This is enough for a German. Um, average household. Um, the big device on the right hand side is a 13 and a half kilowatt hours unit. Um, you can see that we have integrated something like an ambient light on the right hand side of the device. This ambient light shows um, in a very simple way to the customer what is the current state of charge, meaning how how much electricity is still in the storage system, 50%, 60%, 70%, and um, uh, the mode of operation, meaning if the storage system is currently charging or discharging. This can be seen by the color and by the direction of the, the LEDs. It's a, an, another nice feature. Okay, thank you very much. Um, uh, you can try out our um, app. It is, of course, free. And if you key in demo as a username and demo as a password, you can just play a little bit with it and see what a modern and intelligent storage system can do today. Thank you. Christoph, I have an important question for you. Yes. Um, 
Who is your current VC backing John Battery? Um, it is uh, E-Capital. E-Capital, German yeah. guys. German guys, the best German VC, okay. of course. They are <laughs> sitting somewhere here, so I have to say <laughs> that. But. And you are currently uh, raising more money? Yes. Is um, the, the new round still open or is it closed? Um, Good uh, question. Yeah, it is uh, theoretically still open. Yeah. We have already, we are in closer discussion in the moment, yeah. but uh, it is still open. So if uh, any of the VCs in the room wants to talk more about uh, opportunities to be part of the Zon battery story. Of course. Uh, and yeah. We see a lot of uh, future growth opportunities with new business uh, models, virtual power plants, for example, with international expansion, with a new product line. So I think there will be another financial round in the future. We have still a lot to do. We are only in the beginning mm. of our company development. So. Um, if, uh, and, and you already entered a lot of uh, markets and you are now in the process of entering the US market, right? Absolutely. Is it easy or difficult for you to enter the US market? How do you do it? Uh -huh, it's What is the trick? Uh, of course, it's never easy and there's no, no trick, it's just work. We are working on this uh, since uh, one and a half years. Um, and of course, as usual, it's both it's um, product development on the one hand because we have totally different uh, preconditions for installation and so on. And you have, of course, the famous UL certification, mm -hmm. which is a pure headache. And it is, on the other hand, also market development. And uh, there we are um, already in the situation where we have a very good setup, um, a similar structure than in Europe with Sun Battery Centers and with also white label partners. When do you plan to sell the first unit in the US market? Um, in uh, in, in the end of this year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah. Not so many European startups have the courage and, and the know-how to enter the US market. So I think uh, watching Zon Battery, how, how they do it, uh, can be a good role model. Do you have a question for Christoph? In the very back. What's your storage cost per kilowatt hour for um, the new generation of storage? Mm -hmm. um, in the moment, we are at um, roughly 1,000 euro in a fully integrated system, of course, and the smallest system. And it depends, of course, on the size of the system because the bigger the system gets regarding storage capacity, the lower the, the part of costs of power electronics and so on is getting. So um, in average, I would say 1,000 euro. In the small system, it is maybe 1,100. In the big system, um, it can be 800. And I think uh, one of the reasons why you are using uh, lithium iron phosphate is really security, right? It is a safety issue. So yeah, absolutely. So it's not so much about weight minimization, but really um, safety maximization. Yeah, the energy density is not decisive in a house because if you have need 10% more space and 10% more, more weight is not, from our point of view at least, yeah. not an issue. Yeah. And um, he has to run off, I think, around lunchtime. So if you want to talk to Christoph, uh, do it now in the coffee break. Yes, because sorry, you I are seeing right now. Uh, uh, even right now? Even right now. Okay, well then, uh, shoot. But it was a big pleasure being here. Thank <laughs> you so much. Robert, one more question from Robert. Is Susanna here? Okay. Excuse me? How much is this round um, in Wait the for the microphone, please. Right. How much are you raising this round? Um, in the moment, we are thinking about six to eight million. Mm. All right. And we are the first time in our company history in the fortunate situation that the German bank is willing to give us money, the credit line. Wow. <laughs> uh, this is helpful as well, of course. Okay, Hello. one more question. Hello, Chris Goodall. What is the likely evolution of the cost per kilowatt hour for your systems, please, over the next few years? Can you give us any indication? Um, yes, of course. We see... We see still, um, uh, let's say, significant potential for, for cost down. Um, regarding cell technology, our guess is between 5 and 10 percent a year, just for the cells. Uh, regarding electronics and power electronics, we see another 30 percent over the <laughs> next 24 months, something like this. But of course, we are not at the end of the story, because still we are a small, a, a small factory, right, with uh, 3,000 units uh, sold since 2011. This is still small series. It is, of course, <coughs> another potential in economies of scale. Hmm. Are you now planning to outsource production? Up to now, you did it in-house, right? 
um, well, in the beginning, you do everything yourself, everything, everything, even the nitty-gritty cables and stuff like this, in order to fully understand the manufacturing process. We already um, we already sourced out components, so we, we get the components ready and do the final assembly in our um, headquarter. But of course, um, in order to be um, able to ramp up fast, um, to manufacture uh, big volumes, and also for the internationalization, it is important that we have a fully standardized product which can be assembled by a contract manufacturer somewhere in the world, doesn't matter. Mm. Yeah, so sometime in the future you will make the batteries in the USA, for example. The Assemble battery system, them. absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Makes no sense to ship them from Germany. Yeah. Okay, one more question. Yeah, it's a cool company and he will go very soon, so take yes. the chance. You can call me anytime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Chris Goodall again. I'm sorry, I asked you just about the evolution of kilowatt hour yes? costs. Um, what we're going to see over the next couple of years is a dramatic reduction in the, co in the cell cost of lithium-ion batteries. Yes. Are, are you confident that your lithium-ion phosphate will be able to keep up with the, the rate of decline in uh, Tesla-induced uh, lithium-ion batteries? Um, from today's point of view, we are very confident. On the other hand, we know that a lot of development is going on all over, all over the world regarding cell technology. So we designed our system to be cell agnostic. So whenever um, a cell technology is coming up, which we consider to be better price-wise, performance-wise, doesn't matter, safety-wise, yeah. absolutely, um, we are able to, to switch towards another technology. Okay, thank Christoph. you so much. Yeah, thank you very much for being again at Eco Summit. Thank you.